Have you ever wondered how to use the packages on a nightly feed? Or maybe there's a NuGet package produced by a CI build attached to a PR and you want to know how to use that, how to verify if that fixes the issue that you're facing? Um, then this is the video for you. In this video, we're going to look at how to test NuGet packages locally. A lot of repositories and projects will have some kind of nightly feed where um, a build is triggered every night and the resulting build goes to probably some kind of private feed that is not on nuget.org to not litter like the public feed that everyone's using, uh, but instead it goes to a private NuGet feed that uh, you can consume as well. So uh, for instance, here we have the Xamarin Community Toolkit. And if we scroll down a little bit, then you can see that um, there is some reference to the NuGet nightly releases as well. Uh, so, and if we look at what is uh, under here, then we can copy the link. And if we inspect what's in here, then you can see that this goes to uh, dev.azure.com so uh, this feed is hosted on uh, Azure DevOps and you can use this in your application to test this actual nightly feed we will see that in a little bit uh, let me explain one more thing to you uh, so if we look at for example the Xamarin Forms repository uh, which is this one and this is a PR I'm looking at a PR one which is adding some easing type converter uh, which is not important uh, but if we scroll all the way down to the status uh, report here from github and we can see all checks have passed and I can click open to this details here Go over to the details here because Xamarin Forms reports their builds in a public server. Uh, so I can go into the build logs right here. And if I look at the related section here, then you can see it published three artifacts. And one of them is going to be the NuGet package that has the changes that are associated with this PR. So if we open this, uh, you can see there's a bunch of PRs, but we are just interested in like this only you get um, from the, the main Xamarin forms one. And we can go all the way to the right and download the artifacts. So let's do that right now. And I still have this URL of this NuGet uh, private feed here as well. So let's start with that one. Let's go into Visual Studio for Mac and see how we can use these packages in our projects. So here we are in Visual Studio. I have set up a little dummy project, which is not going to do anything. So this is just a file new Xamarin Forms application. Uh, of course, this is not specific to Xamarin Forms at all. Uh, you can also use this for any kinds of projects and uh, which just have a NuGet uh, with a nightly feed or you get a NuGet package from somewhere else. Uh, this is just to, to get the example across. So if we go to the Visual Studio menu right here and we go to the preferences and scroll all the way down to the NuGet section right here and then we click sources. Um, here you can see already I have a couple of sources set up, but you can also um, add your, your own custom one. So if we're using some kind of nightly feed with the latest builds of the project that we're looking at, we can simply go to the add button here. You can specify a name, so I can call this Xamarin Community Toolkit, and I can uh, paste a URL in here. Uh, I don't need a username or password. There are feeds that might require a username or password. Maybe you've set up your um, private feed for um, uh, enterprise usage, uh, but we don't need it for now. And we click add source and it will be added here for us. So we can go out of here by clicking OK. And now if we try to manage the NuGet packages on our project right here, uh, you see it defaults to NuGet.org. Um, it, it actually remembers the last feed that you've selected. Um, also for when you do a right-click restore packages. So keep that in mind if you do this, that it might not find uh, all the packages that you're expecting it to find. Uh, but you can also see here the Xamarin Community Toolkit now. And if we go into here, we have to show the pre-releases. Um, and you can see that we have a couple of packages right here. Uh, we have some version numbers which are created every night whenever a change has happened. Um, and you can just install that, add the package right here. That's installed into your project and you can use it as you normally would. Now the other thing we did is download a new PKG file, uh, which is basically the new get package. And we can also use that from a local folder. 
So again, for that, we go to the Visual Studio menu right here. Again, we go to Preferences. Actually, we go to the exact same window and we add another source and we're going to give it a name again. So Xamarin Forms PR, something like that. And this time we're going to select a folder. You can also select a local folder that will act as your um, NuGet feed. So here I have uh, some kind of NuGet folder which has the new PKG file in there. And I can just say open. You can have multiple packages in there if that's what you want. And you can say add source again, click OK. And we can uh, go into the manage NuGet packages here as well. And this time we can select the Xamarin Forms PR. So here we are. We have the Xamarin Forms PR NuGet package. Um, you can just install that. You can see it has the version number of the version that it's targeting. So you probably don't want to use these packages in some kind of production version. Um, you just want to use this to test some things out, maybe to see if your issue is fixed or to verify something else. Uh, but it, it isn't recommended to use these packages in your production environment because um, it won't get updated automatically. And um, yeah, it, it just lives on your local hard drive. So other people using this will also get in trouble because they can't find this version on the public nuget.org feed. Of course, we can do the same thing on Windows. So here is like Visual Studio 2019, and we can just go to the tools. Uh, we can go to the options. Actually, we have a NuGet package manager option right here, and you can just go to the package manager settings uh, directly. And we have the package sources uh, right here, very similar to what you see on Visual Studio for Mac. Uh, the UX isn't great, to be honest. Uh, but here you can see the package sources. So we just click this plus here. Um, it will add a new record. And down here, you can uh, change the name and source of this thing. Uh, so if we go back to that nightly feed again of the Xamarin Community Toolkit, uh, we just input the name here, uh, we paste the link in here, and you have to press update for the changes here to show up. Then we close this dialog by pressing OK. And if we go to our projects, uh, NuGet packages, again, we have the options to say package source here. You can also um, select the all one, which, which will search all the uh, sources that are in here. But in this case, we want to see the Xamarin Community Toolkit one. Um, include pre-releases and we have to go to browse and then you can see all the packages that are in here and again you can use this on your project if you want to uh, the same thing works for the local packages as well so you can also just select a folder um, to use your packages and that's how to test these local packages or do that uh, with a nightly feed and that's all there is to it basically you just get that nuget package put it into a folder Add that folder to your Visual Studio, use that as a URL for your NuGet feed, um, and you're ready to go. You can test those NuGet packages. Of course, a word of warning, um, I already mentioned this, but you don't want to use this in your production app, probably. Um, but you know, this at least gives you the ability to test out some things, uh, be on that cutting edge, um, and verify if your issues are fixed. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, Stroke that bell and I'll see you next time.